<laughs> you better explain. Well, let me explain to you. When it comes to our car, we can all rev up the engine and honk the horn, but imagine actually making music with your vehicle. Mm. One man has designed and created unique musical instruments made entirely from car parts. Mm -hmm. It brings a whole new meaning to heavy metal music, <laughs> doesn't it? And now more and more musicians are getting on the act. We'll speak to the composer and sound designer Bill Milbrot in a moment, morning. Um, first, let's have a listen to just two members from the band Travis trying their hand at it. been put to shame, Bill. <laughs> and uh, Bill Milbrook's here now. Hard yeah. to believe that that, that is, is the same instrument that I've been blowing it hot is, air yeah. down all morning. Yeah, they all play. Okay, That's so right. tell us a little bit about I've got, what, a violin. And you've got I... a spike fiddle. A spike and fiddle? It's, it's essentially a violin, but it stands upright like a cello. Because right. of the weight, it's too heavy. Right. It is it's heavy. Made from, it's, it's, uh, yeah, it's is made that? from a, um, geez, I think it's a rear uh, suspension mount. And what happens is you can't really hold that up under your chin and play it like a violin. Mm -hmm. But there's an old, like a hillbilly technique of playing where you cross your legs and you have a spike on the bottom and you stick it in your foot and you play it that way. Okay. So we, we took a shock absorber right. and put it on there. I want to show that. So that, in fact, the bottom of it is a shock absorber. Right. And you stand up and play it like a cello. Mm -hmm. And therefore, the interesting thing is you really need a cello player because for a violin player, it, it confuses them. Their fingers are going yes. the wrong way. Okay. okay. Uh, this is just a piece of pipe. That's from a strut somewhere, either a strut or a, um, uh, a, a shock absorber inside. There's okay, uh, we'll come on to the other instrument in a second, Bill. Sure. Where, how, where, why, what did you get the idea from? People ask me that all the time. Yes. And, you know, it's really got to do with a personality problem, I think. You know, I, I, I have always liked music that's kind of on the edge. I've enjoyed it. music of Edgar Varez, John Cage, Frank mm -hmm. Zappa. Right. And people have played things like break drums since the 30s and 40s. There's nothing new about it. What's new, a little bit new about what I've done is that we make instruments that are complete instruments in all four families of the orchestra. Winds, brass, strings, and percussion. And when I say me or we, I have a team of people. I have a lead designer named Ray Fonts III who actually constructs these and oversees the construction. Mm -hmm. I direct the process, but Ray actually helps me pick the parts and, you know, really, right. their design it's is kind really of his. the ultimate in recycling, really, oh, here, isn't great. it? So yeah, I, yeah. I don't need my car anymore, and I could give yeah. it to you, could I? Absolutely, could yeah, well, yeah, we could use them. We need some new stuff. Well, you got a guitar here, have you? Yeah, this is, a, we call this a clutch guitar, or a brake booster clutch guitar. <laughs> and what it is, I'm going to yeah. lift heavy. it up carefully. Yeah, heavy, heavy. And um, my pick is over there, but I'll give up on that. Oh, right. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, there you are. Yeah. Okay, now this is a clutch here. Right. The back of it, you can't see it, is a brake booster. Yep. Yeah. This is a piece of floorboard that has a little channeling in it, and this is a transmission mount. Now, the interesting thing about this is it's designed, it, it tunes, we have the tuning pegs on the bottom, and that's for visual, so it looked great in the commercial. Yeah. It's interesting looking. Mm -hmm. The backing is the only part that's really not functional, that's decorative, and that is a, the inside of a door. Yep. And the strap, the guitar strap, is a seat, seat belt. belt. Yep. Seat belt. I don't know if I'm, I can't see what I'm doing here. It's a little tight, but but you can see it that it, it sounds it sounds like a regular oh yeah electric yeah. guitar. It is, yeah, yeah. It's great. It reminds me, because yeah. you remember that uh, Johnny Cash song about when he nicked all the car parts? Yeah. One yeah. by one yep. over yep. the years. Yep. Yep. You could rewrite that song. Sure. Not to make a yeah. car, but to make a, yeah. an orchestra. I want to see if the viewers can see the seat belt yeah. here. I mean, it is yep. quite brilliant. You can so actually, there you yeah. Look. Seat belt. You can unclip it. Yep. <laughs> Clunk, click, every tune. Isn't that wild? Yeah. yeah. Um, I just last, lastly, this instrument we have here, this looks a bit like a cello, but what's it made out of? That is, we call that the Ford Fender bass. Mm -hmm. Now, in America, we call them fenders. I think you call them Bumpers. Bumpers. wings. Oh, you don't call them wings? Oh, wait a minute. The, the fenders on the side? Over or the front? wheels. Over the wheels on the side. Oh, uh, yeah, wings. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, okay, so you have that. We, call the, we keep the word fender because fender is a wheel arches, arches, yes. Fender is a maker of guitars of and bass. Of course, yes. yes. And, and the, this is made, this is the fenders down here, the wings. 
The neck mm. is what's called the A pillar from between the windshield and the right side door, it curves up and becomes the roof. And there's just a little stretch, enough of a stretch that's straight mm -hmm. that enables it to be played. Uh -huh. And uh, the I don't remember what the bridge is, but they're all parts of the car. Even, uh, what about the strings? Are they even parts of the car? No, Those have to no. be real, do they? Yeah, we, they're, they're real. We make two kinds of instruments. One I call purebreds, and one I call hybrids. The purebreds are like this. The food, yeah. These are pure car parts. Right. And we have a lot of percussion that's nothing but car parts and maybe whatever holds them together, the welds. These we call hybrids. They're a com combination of musical instrument parts. Mm -hmm. And car parts, they have strings, they have mouthpieces and things Sounds like that. Sounds like great sort of scientific experiments, but are you making, any, is it a money-making operation? Or? Well, I mean, I have a band that works pretty regularly, yeah, okay. called the Car Music Project, and hopefully Ford sells cars because of it, you know. Mm -hmm. Yes, indeed. Well, I hope they paid you a good amount of money for that commercial you gave them, too. Well, yeah. they were fair, yeah, is that, I think. Is there a difference to the technique that you, you have for the... Well, you have to be, you have to oh, be that accustomed... Wasn't bad, wasn't yeah, no, that was great. You have to be accustomed to ethnic flute fingering. Right. You know, it's it's like a recorder or like a um, uh, like a wooden flute, and if you know that, you can pick that up pretty quick. The trick is the mouthpiece. It's, it's not refined like a real like a like a a polished flute. You know. Yeah. Good. Well, I mean, I'm just really fascinated to be honest with you about that. That's been brilliant. But I'm not sure I'm going to volunteer my car quite yet. Oh, come on. <laughs> you couldn't fit the whole orchestra in the studio, but uh, you'll have to do for the time being. Bill, thank you yeah. very much. Thank you very thank much. You. Bill, nice to meet you. It's uh, seven minutes to nine.